I, I think perhaps prior to leaving New Zealand, you know, the, the whole idea of the Pacific was just that. It was an idea. Mm -hmm. you know. And so um, going there, the idea becomes a reality, and the reality is in many respects different. I know that you made some quite dramatic changes as far as medium goes and, and your mm. way of working. Mm. Can you talk a little about that? <laughs> yeah, I was known as a painter. So, um, you know, um, I thought, well, I'm going to continue working. But that's how we'll earn our living. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, you pack up the tools of trade, which were my brushes and my... Uh, I stocked up on oil paint and all the things I thought I would need to continue painting as I had been doing. Yes. And um, arrived in this place and, you know, immediately it became clear to me that this was uh, not the way to go. This was going to be out of the question. Oil painting was out. It just seemed too foreign, too... It, d it didn't fit with the surroundings, with the ambiance of the place. So that first series, The Beginner's Guide to Gilbertese, is really about that process of adjusting, learning, learning something new about a new culture, a new language, mm -hmm. documents that. I'm aware that, um, that Kiribati was the first place that you worked collaboratively on the mm -hmm. series, uh, mm. the New Angel Woven Table Mats. Um, can you tell me about how that came about and what the, what mm. the process involved? You know, I lost all the, the, the usual things I relied on for my art practice in yes. a fire. And um, in, in the, in, on Tarawa or anywhere in Kiribati, there's no art shop. You can't you know, go down the road and just restock a studio. And in fact, I didn't have a studio. There was nothing left that of our previous building and um, and my uh, studio, yes. the home and, and studio, it's all gone. So I made what was really just simply an obvious choice, which was to work with the materials local ava locally available. Yes. And since I didn't know how to use those materials, I chose to work with people that did and uh, went into discussions with with my friends at uh, Di Doini Maina, which is the Catholic Women's Training Centre. Yes. Um, and ex expressed to them some ideas that I had and said, do you think it's possible? And they said, sure, just go away and do some, some kind of guideline drawings and we'll take a look at it. So what the work is about really is, uh, is that idea that identity and belief are subject to processes of change yes. and evolution and renewal. Okay. But you know, then you have the, the thing, well, how, what kind of imagery do you, do you take to, to convey that Gentleman notion? <laughs> <laughs> so I chose to, to go with um, things which form part of our common visual um, landscape, yes. which are the things that we see every day, which in Kiribati, for example, would be the things that you get that are available locally in the little local shops. They're imported as well. So there's that notion of um, outside influences, ideas. Exchange. So you, yeah. yeah. So, you know, you take something as a metaphor right, for, some, for other things. Mm. Right? So you can read that work at, on a number of levels in terms of, um, in terms of, physical, you know, the, the human culture, the materi material culture, mm. or in terms of beliefs. Yes. Um, so it has that kind of reference to and the supper, last supper, yes. um, fish, and, you know, symbolism of the fish in terms of Christianity. I got to really get attracted by the idea of working on tapa. I'd see it when I uh, every time when you arrive in Fiji, you, you, you're greeted by this wonderful work. Yeah. And then when I finally met Lemba and uh, was taken as a guest to her house, 
and I saw all this tapa on her walls and I said, wow, who did this? And she said, I did. And I said, oh, Lemba, <laughs> do you think we, you, got, you and I could work together and I'd, I'd like to learn about this? And she said, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So she invited her sister-in-law, Mbale, to come in on this and that, so we became us three girls. <laughs> <laughs> and the neighbours got involved, you know. They were all incredibly curious. Who's this white lady going? What are you doing? And um, so kids would turn up with plates of fruit, or neighbours would cook and just turn up, which was their, I guess their, they, they were looking at it for excuses, maybe. They didn't need excuses. We were happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was all, all became part of the dialogue, and it cemented our ideas as we went, because we, we had a rough idea of what we wanted to do, but we were making decisions daily about what to do, what the symbols would be, what kind of image we would choose to carry our, our ideas. You know, we'd talk about, oh, what are we going to do here? Oh, let, it's a garden. What are we going to plant in our garden? Yeah. Oh, we'll have taro. Okay, so I'd go outside and do drawing. Well, the taro was growing outside. Come back in with a drawing and then I'd work it into a, a repeat pattern and then say, how does this look? Oh, it looks good, yeah. And so I'd cut the stencil and then we'd try it out. And, oh, yeah, that's cool. So we'd use that. So we'd plant taro and then we'd, something else would crop up. I can look at it and I can read, read our two months together. I can yes. remember it. Yeah. yeah, we produced all the things that you would produce for a, a, a wedding, a traditional wedding, a Fijian wedding. Yes. But we were looking at the idea of a marriage of cultures. Mm -hmm. uh, Namely, you know, Fiji and Indo-Fijian especially, yeah. the Indians and the, and the indigenous Fijians. And this is the richness of that blend, the beauty of it. We uh, constantly stayed in, in dialogue with her, um, the Indian family, um, her neighbours, and they contributed ideas towards the imagery also for the work. So you see the Diwali lights and yes. um, Diwali patterns. And yeah. As Other, well as yeah, the the um, lotus and the meaning of that. And that's all. That's all part of the work. It's got a. There's a rawness to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's got patches on it because yeah. the tupper was a bit dodgy in parts, <laughs> and we had to slap bits on. It's yeah. got bits where we worked on it and thought, no, that's just not. Right. So we just. Stuck another bit on top yeah. and worked over the top of that. See, that so, seems to be which so actually much more they do. Kind of way they do that. You know, they're not precious about their work. They will. It's like patchwork. They do yeah. glue bits on and bits here and there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah.